All right, I wanted to share this with folks uh, that are working with the Laser Saber stubble fill coil. He has also done something really, really neat that I've replicated here that uh, a lot easier than the stubble field that's uh, I think just as significant. He has made a battery out of carbon rod with magnesium ribbon wrapped around it. And he's just using humidity in the air. And I'm calling it the barber pole. Uh, the one that I made. Now there's cotton cloth wrapped around the carbon rod and then this magnesium ribbon is spiraled around the carbon rod. Now the way this works is humidity in the air will actually activate this and I think this would run for a long time. Now the humidity where I'm at right now is very um, low but this would work great in high humidity places like where they have hurricanes <laughs> and where there's really high humidity you wouldn't need to do what I'm doing here I've actually got a little string and a little puddle of water to supply moisture to this but I've got it running a pulse motor and this pulse motor is connected in series to a jewel thief and uh, that little barber pole battery is a winner and uh, I recommend uh, getting it. You can find these carbon rods. The ones I got uh, right here are actually like graphite from a pencil. They're pretty soft. You can get better ones. But I found these on uh, eBay and they weren't very expensive. And then the magnesium ribbon you can get there too. And uh, it makes a great battery. Uh, it's just water is your electrolyte. And uh, like I say, I'm running a pulse motor with an air cork coil. And then it's going into a series uh, Jewel Thief. Now, I'm calling this setup here, um, this thing right here, the Odd Runner. And the reason um, I'm calling it that is, believe it or not, this thing is drawing about 2 milliamps right now. And that's how I'm getting away with doing that with that battery right there. It puts out about 1.4 volts right now, but there's not that much amperage really. There's just not that much surface area. But with this setup here, I'm getting away with it. And uh, like I say, it's 2 to 3 milliamps. And I'm not sure why it's doing that, because usually a jewel thief won't even run on that. And I'm running both of these on it. Now, here's the simple circuit. It's just a battery. goes through a reed switch. comes over here to a big capacitor at the jewel thief, through the jewel thief circuit, back through the drive coil, back to the battery. And that's all there is to it. It's a extremely simple little circuit that for some reason uh, I'm, I'm getting a very very good performance out of this and I calculated that uh, you could run this on a double-a battery for about three weeks so I'm pretty encouraged with uh, how and why this is working I think the heart of it is the roll of 30 gauge wire that is causing a huge impedance and resistance in the circuit and then this little stupid little spinner um, rotor that I made here. It's just very, very simple, but it's very lightweight, and it uh, spins very, very easily. And then this reed switch is the one that Laser Saber said to get from Electric Gold Mine, and that works really, really good, and it makes real nice sharp s spikes that send the energy to this capacitor which uh, drives the jewel thief basically but anyway I've had a lot of fun with this what I call the odd runner and uh, this barber pole battery and uh, go to our laser sabers uh, website and he'll show you how to make that but make these now he made a whole bunch of these and stacked them up in series and parallel I think to run an LED straight up but you can see I'm doing it differently I'm going through a circuit and a motor and another uh, jewel thief Thanks for watching.